Young creators are fearless and bold. They are innovative and creative. They are developers. They are able to make content for teens and step out of their comfort zone. They don't care what others think. They take their future into their hands and make their dreams come true. Be a young creator and let your voice be heard. Are athletes more vulnerable to experience some form of mental illness than non-athletes? I think, in my opinion, that athletes are more vulnerable to experience some form of mental illness than non-athletes because uh, for this question, I'm going to be focusing on uh, football, which um, there's been cases of many, like, football players that have committed suicide due to mental illnesses due to the fact that uh, football players play very rough and and actually receive uh, trauma to the head which messes with their thinking and also causes them many mental side effects and bad mental well-being so for the football players, I feel like they are more vulnerable to experience some form of mental illness than somebody who doesn't play football. Uh, I would probably say no, just because non, like some non-athletes or some people that just don't do sports in general uh, face uh, challenge, like challenges in their own way, whether it be going to school or like maybe uh, I don't know, may, they're going through some form of struggle. Uh, I think athletes who go through mental health, most of them use their sport as a way to like get out of the mental health. Uh, so, yeah. I think uh, athletes are more capable of getting some of them mental issues because um athletes they they are working all the time working out all the time with their team coaches all the time and i feel like um they don't get that much time to be with family and they don't get that much time in their self because they always so busy working for the team and you know even them working for themselves on the team they still working and it can be exhausting and it can become a overwhelming feeling so i feel like I it is more likely for athletes to get it than non-athletes i think that athletes are kind of more vulnerable because a lot of athletes have like a a ton of different things going on or maybe it's a bunch of things they're probably worried about or something along those lines or something they're probably scared of in their game or any trauma that happened in their past that can still be dormant or something. Or like, or someone that's like, um, someone that could be messing with them mentally or something. Anything along those lines, someone could be messing, messing them up or they're having like their own crazy thoughts or something. I do not think athletes are more vulnerable to mental illness because there's more things going on into the world for other people to be dealing with mental illness. And athletes, the only thing they really have to worry about is losing the game, not making it to playoffs or finals where they can call mental illness. But, but I feel as if, if anything, rappers deal with it more because either how they grew up. But some athletes can deal with the same same problems as um, rappers and how they grew up too. So they can have it, but I don't think they're more, more vulnerable. Yes, I think athletes are more vulnerable than non-athletes because athletes always have a million and one things going on. And I'm pretty sure they have other things bothering them other than sports or stressing about other things other than sports, games, etc. And I'm pretty sure that they don't get a chance to really take a mental health day if they really need it because they're always so busy. So I feel like non-athletes 
can take advantage of that because they don't really have a lot going on. I think athletes are more vulnerable to experience some form of mental illness than non-athletes. And that's because on top of school, which can already give people mental illnesses, they also have to do sports. And, you know, juggling that at the same time with your family and possibly a significant other, it can really take a toll on how you think and how you mentally process and how you think about yourself. Because then you start to think, are you enough if you're not enough and everything? And like, I've been through mental illness because of school. I've been very stressed at times. And, you know, the fact that you have to also have to focus, focus on sports, too, if you are an athlete, it, it just adds on. Because you got to get to practice and you may need tutoring. But what if you can't do both at the same time? It takes a toll on on almost everyone if, if they can, you know, get their schedule and juggle it right.